Hey Taylor, it's Devin again. Thanks so much for speaking to me on the phone. In this quick video, I'm going to give you three simple tips you can easily follow so you can start beating Christian Brothers Roofing. If you type in Kansas City Roofing, these guys show up at the top. I'm going to show you how easy it would be to copy them and then beat them. And I know you're probably asking why I would even make this video for you. I just found out there's a lot of roofers out there that are so busy running their business, they don't have the time to learn how to make the internet bring them more customers. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody to help them is they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I started creating these attack lines and just giving them away for free. And most people just take this information and do it themselves, which is awesome. Some people say, Devin, I like you. I want this done. Can you do it for me? I don't have the time to do it myself. That's cool too. Whatever you want to do is totally okay with me. I'm just here to educate you and help you make a lot of money. Now, Taylor, I'm going to talk about three quick things today. Content, backlinks, and citations. First off, though, whoever did your website, designed it, did a great job. Everyone knows, well, at least your designer knows, uh, that having images of humans as like their main image is, helps a lot with conversions. People like, they just feel more trust. They feel more trust when they're on websites that have pictures of humans on them. So that's really great. You have um, call to actions all throughout your website as you scroll down. Really nice animations, really clean looking website. Just a beautiful looking website. Now what Google mostly cares about when it comes to ranking your website is all of this content here that you can read, everything that you can highlight. Uh, if I, could, I can't highlight anything here. There you go. The average website on the front page of Google has about 1,500 words of content. So if I select all of your content and I paste in this word counter, you can see you have 669 words, which is a great start. So good job. You want to get yourself up to 1,500 words so you can look like an authority in Google's eyes, but also so you can kind of just smash Christian Brothers because they're currently at 1,000 words. So by getting yourself to 1,500 words, you're going to blow them out of the water and you're also going to give yourself more room to fit in what's called buyer intent keywords. A buyer intent keyword is just a, just a phrase somebody commonly types into Google when they're ready to purchase from your business. So I pulled up a couple for you here. Uh, you typically have to pay to, to have a software to see all this. Don't worry about it. Just pause this video and you don't have to go ever like search for this list. So you can see roofing companies, Kansas City, 400 people search that out every month. Kansas City Roofing, that's another 400 people. Kansas City Roof Contractor, that's 250. Roof Repair in Kansas City, that's 200. So if you're number one for these four keywords, you would be number one in front of 1,250 people every month who want to purchase roofing in Kansas City. Life-changing, right? So you want to make sure you have these keywords inside of your content. If I search Kansas City Roofing, it doesn't show up on there at all. If you go to Roofing Companies Kansas City, you can see that doesn't show up at all. So you want to make sure you have those keywords inside of your content. You can also save your images as keywords too. So instead of Eastern Roofing logo, this could be Roofing Companies Kansas City. And then you can have, you know, this image down here. There's, there's another one I can do. This one maybe. Save image. Instead of residential roofing, you can call this Kansas City Roofing. And that'll help you rank. So that's my first tip for you regarding uh, content. My next tip for you is called backlinks. A backlink is when another website is linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. This is important because Google is kind of like a popularity contest. They want to see a bunch of trustworthy, relevant websites vouching for your website. Like I said, though, they want to see trustworthy, relevant websites, which means you're going to get a lot more power if you have other like roofing and construction companies linking to you versus having like Pizza Hut linking to you just because Google knows you're not a pizza company. So the tool you check out backlinks is called Ahrefs. You don't need to pay for this. Just Google backlink checker. You can see this info for free. It says you have 65 websites linking to you while Christian Brothers has 569 linking to them. Now they've done all the hard work already because if these 569 backlinks are good enough to rank Christian Brothers, they're going to be good enough to rank you too. So I'd go one by one to the, each of these websites and copy them and put a link on each website the same way they did. A lot of times it's really simple too. Like for example, Expertise, Yellow Pages, Super Pages. You just go on these websites, you hit Get Listed or Sign Up or Join, create a free profile and then put a link in your free profile back to your website. And that's simple. You've got a backlink from these huge websites. So it's pretty simple to do. It just takes some time. But once you beat your competitors with content and you beat them with backlinks, those two tips alone are enough to get you ranked number one organically here. But I've got one last tip for you. It's how to show up in the map section. If you want to be number one in the map section, you need to have more citations than your competitors. A citation is when you list your name, address, and phone number inside of a directory, which is just a website that allows you to list your business's information. Like, Yelp, Yex, Yellow Pages, stuff like that. So if I were in your shoes, I'd figure out what directories Garcia Roofing was in. I put myself in the same ones, and then I'd add a bunch on top. If Garcia Roofing was in 150 directories, I'd put myself in at least 300. But that is all I have for you, Taylor. I hope you found this informative and helpful. I tried to keep this short and to the point for you. As a quick recap, you want 1,500 words of content on your homepage with keywords inside of that content. And feel free to just pause this video. I'm scrolling down a little bit so you can see some other ones. All these keywords are probably going to be pretty good for you, except for like ones that are like, I think I saw one said supply or something like that. You probably, yeah, you don't want supply because your customers aren't looking for supplies. But then you want to get the websites linking to Christian Brothers and get them linking back to yourself. 
and put your name, address, and phone number in more directories than Garcia Roofing. If you follow these three tips, Taylor, this is how you become number one across the entire front page of Google. Now you're probably asking, what do I do now? You have two options. The first one is to take this information and do it yourself. This is a great route to go. Most of your competitors are doing this. If you get started, or if you decide to go this route, the less time you wait to get started, the less catching up you're going to have to do. If you have any questions or you want any help getting this done, give me a call at 972-736-8808. I'd be happy to hear your goals and give you a free attack plan on what to do next. But it was great speaking to you on the phone earlier, uh, Taylor. I hope this video was helpful for you and I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you later.